if you want to deploy the Kubernetes cluster. So for the master, it's very easy. We just download the ISO and power the ISO, select the installation, and accept the license agreement. And the most important, okay, please choose the system node to the cooler they need node. And we can, cho we can choose the NTP configuration and the set password and confirm the install. It's easy, right? Hmm. So, how could we do the, the cluster? To the, the master with the SSH or, or console login and do the cooler the main initial. Excuse me. Yeah. Are you going to make these slides available because it's impossible to read from this distance? Oh, sure, of course. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Sakana uh, 2019 
10501 because I, I have a Swiss ride today. <laughs> this is my first slide. So let's a, a show you how you can change my slide. Okay? B I T L Y. B I T L Y slash Sakana. 2019 10501. Okay? So any question for now is the container of Kubernetes. Yeah, sorry, can we just go back a couple of steps when you were getting access to the cubic system? Um, uh, is, is it um, is it a as in is it in the standard packages? So for example, I've just done a, a zipper search. And it only has uh, cubic locales. Uh, actually, it is the is the customized operations based on tumbleweed. Okay. Yeah. So. So you have to run it on tumbleweed. Yeah. So we go to for my slide here. So you go to the kubic.org, you can get an ISO and wiki. Will it run in a VM? Under KVM? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. they, are, they are customized some. Yeah, right? Okay. Still the data. Here is VMware, but it runs on KVM as well. Yeah, um, my, my issue is that uh, the, the hosts would all be 15.1. Um, and it took me to say that it runs on Tumbleweed, so in which case, um, you would have to run under a KVM. Yeah. Under, under, the, un, under a 15.1 hypervisor. Yeah. Okay. This works. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I mean, I can go and install a, uh, a lead image, very lean with transactional server as well. Uh, what is that basically the difference between a basic lead transactional server setup? Uh, what's the difference between a lead a transactional server setup and a cubic setup? Is it just the additional uh, Kubernetes uh, programs being installed by default? Yeah. Uh, I think Richard, they, they are setting up some uh, upwise for the Kubernetes. Mm, I don't. I have not studied the, the detail with the with the difference if you if you install it. Uh, in the top of it to install the, the COVID package. But I think uh, in the community, we always promote the, the container and the abstraction, for example, Kubernetes uh, with the Linux way. But I think the purpose of with us to promote the COVID is because it's the easy way to install the Kubernetes task. You, you don't need to know how to, how to know the deploy the cluster. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need to, to know the patch detail. And you, you even, need to, you, you even uh, need to know what's the tumbleweed or, or microwave or, or transition action yeah, with the host. But you can deploy very smoothly with the Kubernetes cluster. Yeah. What, what, you, what you mean for at least with transactional data more compared to microwave, which is based on Kubernetes? Uh, if I would like to add something to what Axel calls uh, the difference, to, in my opinion, it would be uh, container techno technologies are changing very rapidly, and those changes come into Tumbleweed very quickly, but not into Leap. Leap undergoes a lot of testing, thorough testing, then the packages reach there. For example, uh, the versions of packages for ContainerD, for Podman, for uh, QCDL are not the same versions as in Lib. Uh, in fact, uh, until Lib 15.1, Podman was not even available. That is, you had Podman on micro OS 
you could have it on a cubic server, but you didn't have it on the leak 15.0. It arrived only in 15.1. On top of that, uh, I would say uh, the answer that you added about microOS, in fact, microOS and cubic, they're the same. It's the only difference is that uh, microOS is a single purpose operating system that you can make it come by default with Podman. Whereas on the cubic installation, you are not going to use Podman as a general runtime. You are going to use kubectl and all its uh, kubectl maintainer. That's the basic difference. In, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, that's Cathy because the, they are installed. Uh, the the total array. So I will create a directory in the master, and I will copy the key to the home directory. Okay, and change the owner to the config because I I use the. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks everyone.